Hey guys, I'm Jesse P, and this is my friend Dean Nicholson. Hey. And we're just about to go to Edgewater Air Park, home of Flight Test, to install a couple of permanent Tiny Whip course features in Flight Test HQ. We're going to be able to recreate a lot of the things that we have here in this shop out there. All right, man. So what are we, where are we starting? Uh, first, we're going to build Rudy's Hyperdrive, which was invented by my friend Rudy in Germany. It pretty much uses this greenhouse material. All of these little ridges on the greenhouse material are going to reflect rows of LEDs that are animating down the tunnel, and the effect that it has on the pilot is like this explosion of hyperspeed. Ludicrous speed! Go! It, like stars screaming past you really fast. It's <laughs> stars just like, <laughs> like yeah like warp drive like when you hit the warp drive or the plaid drive <laughs> that's what it feels like yeah this is a pretty easy thing to build the first thing i'm going to do is put three of these sheets of greenhouse roofing material together i'm just going to screw and bolt them in And then I'm gonna build hexagonal frames that are the two end pieces. So you take 360 divided by six and then cut it in half so that each one of these angles it makes up a 60 degree up 30, angle. A 30 degree angle, right? Yep. So 60. Yes. 30, so 30 and 30 yeah, makes these, 60. These are 30, six and that's a 60, yeah. So a little trigonometry whenever you do something, it's always has is that, that Is that what trigonometry is? I think it is. I, think I don't even is. know. I got two frames done and glued in these halves. They came out pretty much perfect. Now I'm just gonna paint them. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one, Yeah. I like the blue. Yeah, I like the color. There we go. Guys, this doesn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> we are trapping him. What did you do to Jesse? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. That one's good. Nice. Next one. Nice. <laughs> All right, now go up with it. Oh. Oh. All right, so with the LEDs, what we ended up doing was the original, the original program that I made. I, I called it Starfield Simulation because basically what it does is it makes individual these individual stars that fly down the LEDs, um, and they've got like a fading effect. So they each individual one goes, and they're all random. So. This guy is going to control one strip of lights, and then we're going to have five of these going down the tunnel. Each one will operate randomly, and when you look at it, it's not all pulsing at you at the same rate. It's just randomly going all over the place and with all sorts of different colors. So that effect is mostly what we're going for. Yeah. And you get it a lot more, like if you were to lay on the ground. This is just a test. Dude, imagine tested. imagine five times as many stars. That's amazing. Wow. You have to make Josh get on the floor. <laughs> I don't mind. That is insane. I'm just putting the frame on the hyperdrive, so this is gonna hold all of this greenhouse material out and keep it round so that all the reflections are super poignant. It turned out that this uh, cylinder that we made has 24 humps, and because there's six sides, there's one hump to go right in the middle, and that's kind of how I'm keeping this circle. <laughs> circular and then it's just Dean uh, who's gonna hook up all of the LEDs for this thing sweet after the hyperdrive tunnel was built the next step is just to really wipe it down super well and get all the fingerprints off so this is what it looks like when it's totally lit up the five LED strips reflect off every one of the ridges in the greenhouse material and it looks like you're flying through a star field The final step is to mount this thing to the wall and then we're ready to fly. Now that we have the hyperdrive tunnel installed, let's get to work on the kaleidoscope mirror tunnel. So Jesse, you literally come in with a pile of mirrors and then you start ripping them apart. Yeah, I know. I really do wish I could buy them without the frame, but <laughs> these are the cheapest mirrors that we've ever found and they're just Walmart dorm mirrors. This is going to be the kaleidoscope, yeah, also known as the infinity tunnel. Gotcha. And this is what, like, when you go through it, it's pretty tricky. 
Yeah, yeah, it, it reflects these LEDs to the horizon in, infinitely. The first version of this tunnel that we built was a pentagon. We realized that a pentagon doesn't repeat properly. But with a hexagon or a square or a triangle, and I think that's it, it repeats forever. Those shapes wow. repeat, repeat forever. So it looks a lot cooler when we do a hexagon. Yeah. And this one's going to be even cooler than that because we're making two or three of the sides of this thing a one-way mirror so you can see into infinity uh, forever from the outside as well as flying through it from the outside. Like if one little drone flies through, it looks like an infinity of drones flying across the horizon. Uh, we gotta clean this table super clean to make one-way mirrors for the mirror tunnels. Nice. What I'm using here is simple one-way mirror film from the hardware store. This stuff is my favorite and it's 30% transparent, so that's the stuff to get. First I cut the material a little larger than the size I need. The one-way mirror window film already has a sticky side to it, but I use this window film application solution to help it go on easier with less bubbles and then it's just a matter of really smoothing it out. And have a friend help you because it kind of takes more than two hands. Once you have the six mirror pieces totally done, we're going to build the tunnel one half at a time, gluing the mirrors in. I've actually flown these before, so I'm like super excited for you, Josh, because uh... You haven't actually flown in one of these yet, and it's gonna be super awesome. I don't, I don't normally take lunches, but I have a feeling I'm gonna take a lot of lunches. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of lunch breaks for Josh, for sure. Oh my gosh, look at that. Once you have the two halves, you just glue and then screw the frames together. Then it's a simple matter of putting our LED strips along the edge of each end so that it can reflect to infinity. To make our tunnel nice and long and really enhance the infinity effect, we decided to make two of these and join them together. Since we're hanging ours from the ceiling, we're going to put the one-way mirrors facing down so that when you look up you can see into infinity from below. It also looks really sweet to fly through. Now that we've got our tunnels and gates totally built, it's time for an epic Tiny Whip party right here at Flight Test HQ. The Tiny Whip community is famously positive and that culture is something that we definitely got from Flight Test. Flight Test inspired most of what became Tiny Whip culture, which is now a huge movement. We want to pay homage to Flight Test for teaching us to laugh at crashes, for teaching us that the real point of this whole thing is the friends that we can make along the way. I will always be so thankful for the way Flight Test showed that to me through all their creative videos. And all of these awesome values. Flight Test inspired a culture of mentorship because even in Tiny Whoop you need a little bit of help to get going. And that's inspired a ton of people to kind of pay it forward, each one teach one kind of an attitude. I want to say a huge shout out to Martin Rudat from Germany who invented Rudy's Hyperdrive. You are a great innovator. And one more shout out to Hong Kong FPV who I think was the first person to ever make the mirror tunnel. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I had an unforgettable time at Edgewater Air Park with the flight test crew making it. And uh, if you want to learn more about Tiny Loops, check out the links in the description below. Also, please subscribe to this channel, the Flight Test Tech channel, for more sweet videos like this one. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you later.